why did you start it and what pushed you to grow food in schools? Cosa ti ha spinto a crescere cibo e coltivare cibo nelle scuole? So, hello teachers, hello students, hello Italy, buongiorno. I'm so excited to be speaking to you today about this amazing partnership because literally here, right here in the Bronx, we have started with a small, humble program that has whole school curriculum, reading, writing, math, science, cooking, art, internet quest, along with all kinds of child-friendly activities. And guess what we do? We grow incredible amounts of food indoors, in school, 365 days a year using tower gardens. Now we're just back in the classroom, so the things are just starting to grow. But in just three weeks, this tower garden will be food, 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 looking like the one behind me. And we use a very large commercial base, a 20 gallon tank that literally stands on its own, is on wheels, is heavy duty, can go from classroom to classroom. And even today, we just sent children home with boxes of food that they will be using at home to create recipes. One of my favorite things to grow is cucumbers, which we turn into pickles, which the children sell, but we have all kinds of activities. But let me share with you this, Sarah. 150,000 pounds of vegetables later, grown with children who have limited means and limited access to healthy food. 100,000 students and 500 schools in the United States and in six nations around the world. You know what we are growing? We're growing happy teachers, high performing schools, children in schools that are doing well and children who love to eat their vegetables using 90% less water, 90% less space inside a classroom. Because right here, right now, we are literally four stories up. If you look outside, it's the middle of winter. El invierno, it's cold and snowy outside. But we've got beautiful plants and flowers and all kinds of things growing in our classroom. So I'm super excited about it. And along the way, we've been named a top 10 health and wellness program in America, a top 100 educational innovation in the world. And we're just getting started. And one of the things that I'm super excited about is in Italian and that we can connect children all around the world to grow health, opportunity, and inspire healthy living. So that's what this program is really all about. As crazy as I am, I'm very serious about connecting your community, my community, and the global community, and also fostering an awareness of the Mediterranean diet. Thank you so much. Uh, and I'm happy you mentioned Mediterranean diet because you know that this is for sure one of our focuses. We know that Mediterranean diet is very healthy for us, but also for the planet. And so I want to ask you what we can grow in the tower garden. Cosa possiamo coltivare nelle tower garden? Only That's leafy greens or question. only salads? Yeah. You can grow 37 kinds of fruits, vegetable, herbs, and even edible flowers in a tower garden. You can grow tomatoes, you can grow cucumbers, you can grow peas, you can grow all kinds of herbs. You can grow watermelon, you can grow pumpkin. The only thing you can't grow is rice, corn, and root vegetables. But other than that, <laughs> mamma mia, this is whole foods with unlimited refills. So I want to make sure all of my sauces are talking to all of your pastas because I know it's important in Italy for the sauce to talk to the pasta. And I want all of your sauces and all of your pastas to talk to all of your students and all of your teachers so that together, Green Bronze Machine and Future Food Institute can bring the world's preeminent school-based garden program right to Italy. Thank you so much. So I've been visiting your school in the Bronx. I've been visiting your school in Dubai. I have been actually seeing with my eyes how much kids are connected with the tower, how much the kids are interacting with the tower. So can you just explain to me what is happening around the tower? Are you moving it from a classroom to another? Are kids, uh, let's say, caring about their plant? So just one moment. 
queste tower io ho visto quanto i ragazzi nelle tue classi sono coinvolti sono venuta a visitare la tua classe a New York sono venuta a visitare la tua classe a Dubai ho visto le centinaia di bambini che interagiscono con la tower puoi spiegarci bene come funziona l'interazione perché secondo me una delle potenzialità è che proprio ogni bambino ha la possibilità di interagire con, con la propria pianta curarla vederla crescere sì the answer is sì no Yes, Sarah, you know, I don't know what you said, but I will share with you this. One of my fondest memories, and we've been working together for years, is when your own son, little Tommy, came here to visit us one summer. And he came with our students, and he literally, they literally harvested tomatoes, cucumbers, scallions, um, all kinds of lettuces, all kinds of herbs. They packed it up in a bag, and they got on the subway, and they took it down to Bloomberg. That's right, Bloomberg in the middle of Manhattan and made the blooming Bloomberg salad for the mayor himself. And to think those are the kind of opportunities and experiences we can bring to our young people, connecting them, A, to education, health and wellness, growing healthy food, business, community, entrepreneurship, and then the opportunity to share this with people around the world is exactly what gets me so excited to work with you. So that's <laughs> what we do here. You know, literally, you can see, We grow pickles, we grow cucumbers, the children learn how to make pickles, we sell them, we have hot sauce, we have all kinds of things here. But the most important thing about this program is that it is data-driven. It is rooted in pedagogy. There are instructions, materials, everything you need to succeed in school as a teacher is right here. Everything you need to do to measure your students' success and to measure the efficacy of this program has been proven with 30,000 students in a beta run and over 100,000 students now participating in around the world. So from the bottom of my heart, I, our friendship is wonderful. We've done installations and been to Google, to Nike, to places all around the world, connecting children and education with good food and good opportunity to inspire a healthy living. And I'm just so excited about the possibility and I just can't wait to come visit and manja, manja, manja. Grazie Steven, it's always very exciting and I remember that day at Bloomberg but also I remember when you went at the White House to set up your tower garden with the makers guys so yes that's you know, pretty amazing. Thank you Sarah you're for reminding me, I've got to run but before we go I just want to give your viewers a little bit of our Hall of Fame here in the Bronx. Um, Yes, we've been to the White House. There's me with Mrs. Obama. There's me with the Chancellor. There's our students on the cover of Time Magazine. There's me with President Clinton. Um, here's somebody you guys in, in uh, Italy might recognize. The Papa, that's right. His Holiness, Pope Francis, from Hope to the Pope. There's me with Oprah Winfrey, Jennifer Lopez. I could go on and on and on. The Reverend Al Sharpton. But most importantly, what do we have here? We have the opportunity to change lives and connect children around the world to inspire healthy living, to inspire healthy learning, and to create a uniform system that is proven and accepted around the world and the ability to connect all of those kids together, just like we're speaking today. And if that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what else will. So I'm so proud of our partnership. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Grazie, grazie. <laughs> Grazie mille Steven, ci travolge sempre con la sua energia, eh, spero che sia stato facile seguire perché parla velocissimamente, avete sicuramente capito quanto è, è potente la tecnologia che lui porta nelle sue classi. Ci siamo resi conto che veramente il fatto di poter dare ad ogni bambino l'opportunità di coltivare la propria pianta e vederla crescere, ma non solo coltivare eh, insalate, ma poter coltivare anche, mi viene da dire, un cetriolo, un'anguria o una zucca all'interno di una classe eh, deve essere veramente un'esperienza un importante e potente. Fare questo e portarlo nella didattica e parlare di, di cibo e parlare di come il cibo lo coltiviamo e come il cibo in realtà e come lo coltiviamo è in stretta correlazione con la salute del nostro pianeta, con le risorse di cui disponiamo e quanto è importante comprendere 
l'essenza eh, del, dell'acqua e, e il valore delle risorse che non vanno sprecate ecco tutto questo si riesce a comprendere in modo molto facile eh, giocando con la tecnologia e avendo degli strumenti degli strumenti che vengono forniti assieme alla Tower Garden perché come avete visto da Steven c'è un manuale eh, che supporta la didattica e i docenti i passo passo è facilissimo utilizzarle ed sarà molto molto divertente e molto molto coinvolgente. 